Right, I'm with Chris Barry, um, Arnold Rimmer, on the set of Red Dwarf, uh, Back to Earth. How exciting is it for you to be back? Well, it's, it's tremendously exciting, really. It's, it doesn't seem like um, 11 years since we last uh, got on the rather attractive uniforms and hit our marks and said the lines, you know, but it's, it's like, you know, you know, getting on an old pullover, you know, perfect. How have things changed, you think, in the whole process of shooting? Because I've seen you doing some green screen stuff before. I guess you were doing less of that in the old days? Well, yeah, we did some, uh, oh, it might have been blue screen stuff back in those days, but uh, um, yes, the, the technology has leapt a little bit in the last decade, so uh, we're um, kind of just catching up with that. Watching the four of you main guys together, it's obviously you're, you're good friends and you've stayed in contact the whole time, but I mean, how easy was it to get back into the roles again? How easy was you to be, to be Rimmer again? I, I don't know, I suppose it says something about Rimmer and and myself, you know, that uh, it was maybe too easy to sort of get back into uh, the role of the ultras mega. But, uh, um, yeah, no, it was it was quite easy. It's a role I've obviously, you know, done for, for, for many years, and uh, um, it, it was quite quite straightforward, really. I mean, there is this enduring appeal about Red Dwarf. I mean, I've been saying to the other guys that there's been magazines and, and websites, and the fans have wanted a new series for a long time. What do you think it is that's kept it going, even when it hasn't been on TV for 10 years? Well, I think, you know, um, you watch the old series back and yes, it, it, it has, it, the look of it is kind of dated a little bit, I suppose, you know, but because it's in space and it's set, you know, millions of years in the future, but we're human beings who remember our time on Earth, it's kind of quite timeless in that respect. You know, all the concepts, the sort of um, space concepts are quite, are quite sort of timeless. So uh, I think that's that's kept it, fairly evergreen you know now i know you're not allowed to reveal anything about the plot and we've been told that we uh, really can't or we're in serious trouble but i do see uh, a lady walking around with an h on her head as well i'm guessing she's a hologram too is there anything you can tell us about what's going on there uh, not really I, I i don't really know what to say in this situation but um all i can fairly comfortably say is you know if there's another active hologram on the scene, then uh, Rimmer's in for a little bit of a, uh, a hard time, basically. What do you think about the future of Red Dwarf? I mean, we've been talking about it for a long time, this idea of a movie. I know that was at one point um, on the cards. Uh, and, you know, many people may not have thought this series was ever going to happen again. So do you think there'll be a future, another series after this, maybe? Um, I think so. I mean, I, I really do, because there is such a such a, a, a big audience out there, you know, looking for, for new material. I mean, we, you know, that audience, our, our sort of, um, you know, main audience has been waiting for some new material for, you know, over 10 years now. So, um, and we've been champing at the bit to do the movie, you know, or, or whatever. So I think after this, um, yes, I really do feel there's a strong possibility of, of doing more new Red Dwarf. We're all, um, you know, we're all, still walk and talk you know and um, you know we can still deliver so uh, why not I see one question that's not about Red Dwarf because uh, we were watching well, Gareth the guy who's behind the camera right now was saying that he's watching an episode of the British Empire the other night um, Red Dwarf coming back British coming back too maybe you never say never in this game um, I remember when we were finishing off doing the British Empire we at the BBC we said well um, I think a director might have said uh, you know maybe we should meet up you know, when we're all 50, given that we finished it when I was, what, in my late 30s or something. So we beat up in then 12 years time or something um, uh, on a cruise ship or something. So if there's anyone out there who wants to make that a reality, um, I'm quite happy to do it. All right. I'm st I can still do it, you see. Still got the side parting. Just take the H off and you've got a different character. Nah. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. The BBC has gone through massive to understate slightly changes through its in its in terms of you know what its goals are it seems to me um, and maybe there isn't quite a place for a, a sitcom like the British Empire but you know we're also entering times where you know, we've been through all this niche market things and we're kind of looking for things surely to put the family back on the, in front of the television and British did appeal to the whole family you know so you know as I say never say never I'd be happy to do it